today we are on our way to Costco. Hopefully we've come early enough to avoid all the hustle and bustle of the lockdown queues. Whilst I was queuing to get into Costco, I was thumbing through Twitter and I saw this image which set the theme for today's video in more than one way. Things in the wrong place or perhaps things being out of place. So here is a great example. This is an underground cable duct and this is the rainwater protection flashing. It'd make a very good you only had one job meme if it wasn't on the site of our brand new house. And sometimes, things being in the wrong place can be really subtle, yet strangely triggering. Hmm. Well, so there's a far more obvious, like having a dining room table in your living room. Although that is because we've got our new table. Very posh. And we're still waiting for the chairs though. What on earth is that? Thorin! Well, I was just showing people the new table. Yeah. And I noticed something. What? I thought it was a grape and then I thought it might be poop. Let me show you, come here. Oh. <laughs> In the corner of the room. What is it? A conker. A conker? Put them there because there was a spider in that corner. It was dead so I squashed it with a conker. I blame grandma. Grandma told you. Conkers get rid of spiders, is it? Uh huh. Grandma, you've got a lot to answer for. So seeing that Twitter image of a train ridge while stood in a Costco queue triggered a local memory about a railway carriage in the middle of a local wood. Now, if a railway carriage in the middle of the woods isn't the true definition of something out of place, then I don't know what is. Today, with a sense of adventure and a need for exercise, Farah and I are going to venture in the woods to see if we can find any traces of this long lost railway carriage. So we're wandering through an industrial estate, possibly a little bit lost. But he's not happy, out of Farah. <laughs> so we made the wrong turn at the start and um, I've had to bribe Farrow with some sweets. We are on the right track now. In a very suspicious looking place. And what we are looking for is a railway carriage that has been abandoned in the middle of a wood. It used to be a house that somebody lived in. A railway carriage that's a house? Yeah, apparently. Apparently someone used to live in it as a house uh, and then it's, it just got abandoned and it's in disrepair it might just be completely in bits but we'll see whether it's a true story or whether it's not where'd you find it tiktok <laughs> We need to comb these woods with a fine tooth comb. I'm just gonna have a quick look up here. Whoa! I guess it's cheaper than building a house. I don't know how you'd get a train carriage into the woods. When did they live in the woods? In the 1960s. 60s? Yeah. So it's probably not even a thing anymore. It's an adventure, Farah. Adventure. Cool. That 
Well, she doesn't whack you in the head. Well, no sign of a carriage so far, just a swing. Do you want a wipe for your hand? Do another swing there, Farah. Mm, you fancy your chances? No? <laughs> right, hang on, what's that? Is that a railway wheel? I think it is. I don't know. Where's the rest of it? What is that all about? I think I could jump. Yeah, easily. Oh, let me get you in shot. Did it. I don't know where it is, but there's another one there. Right. Yeah. I hope this isn't where it used to be, and that's that's it. I've just got two holes. I think mean, it'd be as long as a train carriage. Do you think? Do you think that's it? Do you think that's where it used to be? We might be about 20 years too late. So 12,000 steps later. We didn't really find it. <laughs> um, I guess that's moved into the right place. So we finished our walk. We didn't really find the carriage. We just found some wheels, but that's a, a minor success. So we did do a little bit more research when we got home. It did exist, but it's been removed in the last 10 years. Cooking some tea. It's been going in the slow cooker while we've been out. We've got the pasta boiling. Ooh, it's just about to boil over, let's just stop that happening. Uh, I'll just put this spoon away. 